हाई फ्रेंड्स डब्ल्यू पी कन्फिक फाइल एज द कंट्रोलर ऑफ एवरी वॉट्रेस इंस्टॉलेशन एंड इट इज ऑफकोर्स द मेन फाइल थ्रू विच वी कैन हैव मल्टीपल कंट्रोल्स एंड इन द अर्नियर वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी सोन वाट कंट्रोल्स वी कैन हैव विद द डब्ल्यू पी कन्फिक फाइल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू so you how you can generate and indeed the wp config file directly without having any coding skill without writing a single line of code just using the basic parameters and you will generate your wp config file in the desired manner so what is wp config file this can be a very common question the wp config.php file provides the this configuration details for your wordpress website the wp config php file is a wordpress core file that contains the necessary information to make your wordpress website operate including your wordpress database mysql and connect connection settings so where we are going to generate the wp config file as i said it remains with every wordpress installation this is the wp config file whenever you will install the what the score the wp config file will be there now this is the website and it is the url is generate wp.com and further wp config that we are going to use for generating and editing the wp config file correctly so if we look on the basic structure of wp config file this is the basic structure that contains the database connection details security key and some more basic terms like uh, table prefix and all but what if we want to generate new wp config file due to any reason or want to have some edit at this wp config file how we can go with this so what are the important controls that we can have with this interface basically the db connect database connection is the main function that we generally use in wp config file let us assume we want to change the database name database username database character set and the database host password and call it so just fill the credentials that you want to keep and just uh, update the code it will be reflected here like for example if i keep the database name here i create okay so we need to delete this one so i create and the username can be the i c user the database character set should not be changed until it is dot required further you can place the password here new password or whatever you want to keep and uh, simply update the code and once you update the code it will generate a new wp config file with all your field credentials so the basic idea is to generate wp config file without any error with all set of controls that we can have with the wp uh, config file like if we want to change the wp table prefix i mean the table prefix at database we can change simply through here and we can completely change or we can have a prefix uh, custom table user can be placed here similarly the security keys like authentication keys like these are the security keys that is generated automatically with every wordpress installation you can generate new keys like auto generate keys are here the key will be changed just in case if you uh, feel your site is hacked or there are many unwanted user logged in at your website you can have a new security key and this will refresh all the user connection and all the logged in users will be logged out automatically i have shown all these things on the videos available on the wp themes website i mean on uh, this channel as well so you can continue watching those video for learning the wordpress basics and i believe you are already a subscriber to this channel if not please subscribe this channel and press the bell button for getting notification so that you may never miss for any update and okay so if we 
proceed we can change the site url a structure wordpress url the content url the plugins url it is it is generally not uh, considered but yes you can do all these things uh, through this uh, interface that is uh, online available and you don't need to pay anything for doing all this don't worry so it is completely free and it will never ask any amount for generating such files so it is generate wp.com public in wp-config so the, you can change all the parameters like auto save refreshes interval seconds auto save interval seconds you can change the revisions and the limit revision numbers and the, even multi site and the debug debugging mode you can enable the debugging mode or uh, debug log you can enable disable or a script debug similarly you can change the memory limit which is generally required for installation or or the importing the demo content you can change the memory limit from the wp config itself so in the earlier video i also saw on this you can change the performance like cache controls and the compress css options compress scripts options and the concentrate script this is very important so if and you are facing any problem in loading the scripts in proper may you proper manner you can use this concentrate scripts option so it, this is a very useful and rare control that is available here and it is generally not known to wordpress users similarly you can enable the ggp compression from here itself so you don't need any additional plugin for doing all these things and the ftp username you can feed in the wp config file itself and even tron job can be set here further updates can be set like file modification you can enable or disable the file modification and the uh, core auto updates options can be enabled or disabled and the plugin theme editor also can be so this is a very common requirement we used to have at our i create platform that they want to disable the theme edit or plugin edit uh, and uh, so that user may not interact with the, the basic theme functionality or the plugin functionality and they may not disturb the core functionality of the website so you can disable the plugin or theme editor from here and simply update the code copy the code on a text editor and you can simply place the file name wp-config.php or even you can save this thing with using this button so it is a very very important tool to generate the wp config file for your wordpress website correctly so it is very important to generate the uh, config file correctly so that it may take effect it may impact the your website in the desired manner you are willing to have so i believe this video remained helpful in understanding how you can simply generate the wp config and in the next video i'm coming with more resources keep watching keep reading thank you